So three weeks, three and a half weeks now uh, since the injury, maybe close to two weeks out of the hospital and um, just starting to get active again. So I uh, went for a little ride on the dirt jumper just around the streets yesterday. Uh, did a spin on the exercise bike just here. Did that yesterday as well. And I've, today I've been hitting and kicking Bob, the slam man, this dude. And uh, a little bit of balance. So just down here. Uh, still hurting, still sore, but much better. And uh, finally can move, so getting a bit chubby and just been feeling so slack. and Not slack, but just restricted. So figured I'd do this little video and show you what I've been up to. And yeah, rehab's coming along reasonably well, I guess. I'm doing mainly kind of just following uh, what feels right. Had a look a bit, of, little bit of internet stuff, but you just, you just got to do what you got to do. So use it as if you're going to use it for your normal life, and uh, it'll get better. So uh, obviously within, within reason. But here's a little bit of footage from what I've been doing. So that's a bit of a taste of the stuff I get up to off of the bike. Stuff that I do generally anyway, not just for recovering from injuries. So the slam man, hitting the slam man, really good for impact protection, so it protects your wrists. If you can strengthen your wrists and strengthen your arms and your hands, all the bone density in your forearms and stuff from the hits, the impacts, uh, it does help when you crash. And we're all gonna crash eventually. So Bob the slam man, super healthy. The balance, the... Uh, on the balance bar with the medicine ball. That's a big advancement for balance. But man, it, it really, really helps to get those fine motor skills when you're trying to balance, trying to transfer weight. When you're on the bike, transferring weight's super important. Being able to put your weight where you need it when you're balancing through off camber stuff or, or changing direction or whatever, that definitely helps. So that's a big proponent of, of what I do. The skipping rope is literally just for my, uh, it's, it's pretty much for my core, to be honest. Supporting my core and, and holding everything tight and being an efficient unit when you jump up and down instead of being a floppy bag of, of dough, which I kind of look like at the moment because I'm a bit, as I said before, I'm a bit chubby. I've just been eating and doing nothing and uh, it just gets the better of you, I guess. So getting rid of this, this baby fat and uh, just trying to make it happen, trying to accelerate the rehab without pushing it too far. Being on the bike really, really helps. The sprints feel really good. And when I get back on the bike, it's gonna be like I didn't skip a beat. So I'm really looking forward to it. And it's kind of given me a new motivation to to get back into uh, doing doing some fitness related stuff. So I might do a little bit more of that once we're back in the full swing of things. I might do a couple of videos on how I would prepare 
for a race season or to just improve my overall riding. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're not interested, let me know anyway.